Uh, hello guys, welcome back to Twitch tutorial. Uh, uh, yeah, so we'll be continuing the FPS tutorial. I'm a bit down right now, so my voice is a bit distorted, but uh, try my best. And so let's get started. So today I'll be showing you how to make a landmine. This one, a basic landmine, a turret, and basic player death if I have time yeah let's just get started so the first thing I'm gonna do is the landmine so I've made a basic landmine mesh with a point light and a point light and a halo effect what this does is we're going to make it blink like this so the first thing I want to make is a C sharp script to call it landmine Here we go. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is uh, create the explosion object. So public uh, game object explosion. There we go. Okay. Then we need to do uh, the void on trigger enter. And then if other dot game object dot tag equals player. Oops. And then just uh, uh hold on. And then we need to create a new public game object main object. And then we're gonna do instantiate. Explosion, transform the position, transform the rotation, and then destroy main object. Yeah, so this is should be the basics of it. Uh, and then we can do the uh, yeah. Just let's just do this first. So on the landmine, you're going to create a new cube, which acts as a trigger. And you know, the basic setups. Uh, just kind of put this here. And then just, you know, make it like... Two, two, two. And then... Okay. And then on here, you're going to add... Uh, a box collider which acts as the collider for the landmine so that we can shoot it to deactivate it with, but that's optional so now if we play let's see Put this up a bit. There we go. Uh, <clears throat> oh yeah, we haven't applied the script yet. Oh, <laughs> so we're gonna put this here. Uh, the main object should be this one, which is what we're going to destroy. And the explosion. Let's just use the grenade explode for for now. That should be pretty. Oh, it's pretty loud, isn't it? That should be pretty good for now. I'm um, change this to. Uh, so now we've got the basic. Uh, what do you call this landmine? However, we need to make it. A bit, oops. We need to make it a bit more. Uh, what do you call it? This 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 light. We need to make it blink. So we're gonna make a new C sharp script called light. Now there are many ways to do this. The first one is to make it random. So, but I'm just gonna make it like consistent. So, uh, but no, no, let's just make it random. So, for the first thing you need is public uh, change time. Maybe. 
Oops, sorry. Uh, then private float current time, and then public float main density. Public float max intensity. <coughs> Min change time and max change time. Yeah, I forgot. Public float max change time. And then we're gonna do a public light. light. And then we're gonna do if light. Oh, sorry, if there is no light. Then light equals get component light. There we go. Okay. okay, so the first thing we need to oh. Oh, okay. Uh, light. There we go. So uh, the first thing we want to do is create a little void change. Oh my god. Or just you know intensity. There we go. And then uh current time minus equals time dot delta time times one and then if current time plus or equals to zero then we're gonna change the intensity. And then once you change intensity, you're gonna do current time equals random dot range min change time max change time, and then you're gonna make it like uh, where is it? Oh yeah, light dot get from oh light is a light, isn't it? That's intensity equals random dot range uh, <clears throat> mean intensity comma max intensity. That should do it. Oh my god, am I recording? Oops. Is it recording? Yep, yeah, nice. Oops. Whew, okay, so now we've got this. Uh, sorry, now we've got this, so we're just gonna apply it here. So, as you can see, the intensity is 1. Uh, two should be fine. So two and one. Oops, sorry. Two and one. The time should be point one and point five. So it should blink really fast. Let's see it. Uh, oh yeah, it's blinking. I don't know if you can see it. Hold on, let me disable this uh, rational light. As you can see, it is blinking, but it's probably a bit too fast, so let's just make it like, uh, oh no, let's disable this. There we go. Mm, yeah, that should work, so. Okay, so now that we've got that done, now we're gonna do the, uh, we're gonna just create a new prefab. Nice. Now we're gonna continue with the turret. Now the turret, what I'm planning to do was, if it's either visible to the player or it enters a within a range. So, oh no, you know what, let's make the player deaf first. So how we're gonna do this is, we're going to create a, in the move script, we are going to create a few values that that adjusts the player's health or let, you know what let's just make the player health inside of move because what I've learned is if you create a different script adjusting the values it's going to be pretty hard to 
uh, a sync between the two scripts unless you're making a multiplayer game where you have to do that so it's just gonna make a oh no let's not make it here just gonna Now, what I why I'm doing max health instead of just health is so that it opens up the possibility for uh, health regeneration. Curl health, and then um, yeah, that should do it. So on updates, oh no, I was just gonna make a new void die. And then void apply damage. Oh, why is this an error? Oh, you already have died. Oh. Uh huh. Okay, so now we're just gonna do a public void apply damage then. You already have apply damage. Where is it? I can't find it. Hold on. You, wait, you don't have apply damage? Ah, so it's. Nah, that's my fault. There we go. So, um. Damage is in. Oh, sorry. It's the opposite for C sharp. I'm. You see doing this in JavaScript, so um per health minus equals junk. And then we what we're gonna do in the update is if per health uh, sorry <coughs> is less or equals to zero, we're gonna do die. So now if we're dead we wanna make the uh Do we have the current weapon? Where's the gun manager? Do we have the gun? Oh, here it is. Gun and G. So, gun manager, the key component to the co weapon. There we go. This is what we want. So, when you die, you want the <coughs> weapon to drop. So, that's equal. Select maybe? Equipped. Hold on, let's see. It is. Let's set active equal. If it is. Selected or equipped? No, oh, I think it's equipped, yeah. So let's see, now we have... Oh, we haven't applied the... Starting yet. So, at the start, we need to set... Per health equals max health. There we go. Okay, so let's see what that does. That should be able to do it. So we have 100. Yeah! So let's see if we have a weapon, it should unequip the weapon. Oh, wait, hold on a second. The uh, the explosion doesn't have any damage, doesn't it? Oh, it does. Huh. Then why doesn't it work? Hmm. Apply damage. That should work actually. See? Um. Oh, hold on a second. Maybe it's because the uh, player isn't dead. Um. Yeah, that's why his health was still way more I wonder why let's see so let's reduce the health to 50 and sorry I think the force is too big let's try it. see now the weapon is unequipped and I don't know where it is oh there it is where is it oh, why is it back here Oh, oh, okay. So, uh, mm, we got that part done. Now we just need to copy and paste this and change that selected. 
Oh, and also you wanna make a uh, time dot delta time equals zero point five. Oh, sorry. Uh, time dot time scale. And then on this, what's this? Oh, I, have, uh, I forgot that C sharp has to use it. And in here, you gotta do one. Oops. Oh, sorry. There we go. Uh, this is going to create a dramatic slow motion effect, which you will, which you will uh try and we'll see. Well, the player is, however, that's still an issue. Why are you an issue? Um, well, you're not selected, you're not equipped, however. Oh! Oh, hold on. Do you have core weapon? Ah, there we go. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Gun? Oh yeah. Hmm. That should actually... Huh. Hold on. Now when you die, you're not supposed to have a current weapon anymore. Well, where is the gun? This is why I hate to separate the clips, but <clears throat> it's important. That's gonna do it. Nice, but why are you back there? God damn it. Um the transform the parents the position or oh, hold on. Where are you? Where are you? Gun. You're not supposed to do that. <clears throat> Hold on, let me. Oh, you know what, let's just ignore this for a while. Yeah, let's just ignore this. Okay, so next we're just gonna, um... <clears throat> How are we gonna do this? In 78... Red player, transform, that position, transform, that rotation, and then... Destroy game object. Now, that player, we need to copy and paste this right here. Public game object that player. Okay, so the dead player should be the player. 
Yeah, it should be the same. However, we do not want any of this. Except for the, uh, the gun. So we're just gonna disable this. Um, yeah, that's it. Now we're gonna disable the move script. We are going to disable the footstep script, mouse left script. Audio source, let's just leave it there. So, move that. Oh no. And then components, physics, rigid body. And then we're just gonna create a new empty game object. Good. Player. Put this inside here. Now, this is important. This is important. Uh, the dead player should be an empty game object, while the player should be your player. And you can rotate this like that. Why? Because the like that's so like oh no, you have to this you have to put a collider in it. Because it's a capsule collider. Four, four. There we go. The reason why is because you want the, this effect. This is the effect that we're looking for. However, yeah, that's not going to be possible if you have a if you put the rigid body in the main object that's going to spawn. Uh, you'll see what I mean. Because the spawn is with the player rotation and player position, so the rigid body effects won't apply at all unless the player was jumping at the time. Uh, yeah. If you <laughs> sorry, if you don't understand. So uh, let's let's try it out. Oof! What an FPS for this. So let's try. Yeah, I guess that works. Now the player can die. However, I don't see a. I don't know why the exp the force doesn't work doesn't work at all. You know, let's just disable this time step. Yeah, that should work. Well, yeah, that's probably better. I mean, if you want it to look better, you can just, uh, where is the pair? Uh, you can do this. Hold on, where's the points? Component, physics, uh, mm. no, you know what, let's just, no, let's not do that. Yeah, so we got the player death, now we're gonna do the turret. Now for the turret, we are going to create a new script called turret. Uh, the first thing you want to do is copy and paste the fire one shot mechanism. We are not really going to use any of it, we're just going to... Uh, we're just going to do this part. This part, yeah. This is this is this is all we're gonna use. So we're gonna do what? Uh, public transforms on public float curve fire. Oops, max fire. And then put private float curve fire. Wait. Uh, Oops, sorry. M flash. Oops, it's supposed to be that object. Game objects. Uh, M flash. Oh, capital G. And then, uh. Oh, I forgot this. Public. 
uh, int per ammo shell object shell spawn public game object shell object oops public transform oh for shell spawn and then a oh shell up shell up uh, shoot sound weapon so public audio clip shoot sound uh game object yeah that should do oh we have a damage uh oh yeah i forgot to apply this one public float damage public uh force public player mask player mask and then we I think we have an M tab hit yep object and tab hit and then we have one more range Yep, there we go. So now we got the basics of the of this. So now I'm gonna do a public uh, transform player, and then player equals game object dot find game object with tag player dot transform so now we got the transform the player so now we're gonna do this uh sorry float this equals uh victor three dot oh sorry victor three dot distance oops distance uh player dot transform dot position transform dot position oh just transform oh no it's transform dot position yeah so, and then we're gonna do a public oops attack oh public float attack range and then if uh, this is less or equal to attack range, and then you're gonna do a fire. Oops, not that fire. I'm just gonna make fire. And then we're gonna make a new. I'm just gonna copy the fire object here. And, um. Yeah. So now we got that done, we can just uh, fly it here. Whew, this is gonna be long. So we're gonna create the spawn of. Oh well, yeah. So the way I've set up my turret is we got a mess the basic mesh, and then we got one pivot for the side, and then I've got a pivot for the up, which is a child of that, and then the spawn should be the child of pivot up. So that when you shoot, the direction will follow the pivot spawn. Because, yeah, I've learned that it's actually won't work if it doesn't do that. So now we're gonna do 0.5. Damage should be 10. Force is, I don't know, 250. Range 500 for now. Oh no, what did I do? Oh god. What the hell's this? Uh, 500 player mask equals everything except for no raycast. Oh, sorry. Uh, attack hit, muzzle flash, current ammo. Let's just set it to 50 for now. Shell object and shell spawn should be the same. Shoot sound. We're just gonna make. Oh. Shoot. 
and then we're gonna confirm it's audio audio source uh, 15 and then weapon anim oh yeah we haven't got the weapon anim we're just gonna disable the weapon animations for now because we're gonna do it later but not now then the attack range should be I don't know um, 10 for now so now the player is far and it doesn't do anything but if the player gets close it should shoot Yeah, I forgot to set the. Uh, oh my god, this is so embarrassing. Uh, curve fire rate minus equals time. Dot delta time times one. Oh yeah, there we go. Oh my god, that was so embarrassing. Okay, so now if we can go back to the fire rate. Uh, in here, we can see the player wasn't getting any damage because he didn't have the tag. So now we're gonna do copy and paste this and just put an else. Uh, yeah, do this and then do player capital P. Sorry. <sighs> so now the player's health should reduce. So we have we start with fifty. There you go. Now the player can die. Hey. So now let's set it back to one hundred. Now we're gonna do the rotations for the pivot. I should open my scripts for reference because this is the part that I keep getting lost. Oops, sorry. Uh, do I? Uh, anyway, here we go. Okay, we got back. Back. So we're gonna do this. So we're going back to the. Update and then we're going to do this. Uh, first we're gonna make the player into a private. Oh my god, what's with that private uh, player? And then we're gonna do the public game object, route object, and then public load route speed. Got that done? Nice. So what that does is the rotation object, which is oh yeah, we're just gonna make the pirate a bit faster. So the first thing we're gonna do is the rotation object and the rotation speed. So now it should rotate toward the player. There we go. As you can see, it's yeah. Now if you make it 1, the rotation speed should be slow. Uh, but if you make it like 100, then it should snap in an instant. Now, you can't see it if it's that far, so it's just gonna create a simple... Uh, line. It's like a... Uh, You can say it a uh, uh, laser, yeah, a laser. So we gotta make it red, uh, and the width should be just dark one. Yeah, that should do it for. Oh, what the hell are you? Now yeah, let's just do that. So now when the when it's aiming at the player, a laser. Sh there we go. A laser shows up. Yo, 
yeah so now we've got that done now we're just going to finish with an effect we're gonna copy and paste this kick game object rotation here into the move effect and apply damage and just copy and paste the kick game object things which is this one the reason we're gonna do this is so that we know when the player is going to get hit um why do I still have an arrow? kick multiplier ah yeah that's it I guess now for the player the kick object the kick game object should be the same as this one and yeah so let's get started so when you get a damage it should actually yeah. I don't know if you can see it but yeah I don't know if you can see it but the player actually gets um, his aim is a bit disturbed, like in Call of Duty. Hold on. Yeah, like that. The turret is quite overpowered. Hold on, let me. Two, one, two. I don't know. Three. And the sound, man, that's quite loud. Okay, there we go. So now that we've done that, we have a basic. <laughs> so now we've got that. Now we need to be able to destroy the landmine and the turret. So we're gonna create a new script called Help. Oh, uh, this is just going to be a basic script. I'm just gonna do. I'm just gonna copy and paste uh, void. Uh, oops, die. Oh my god! Oops. Oops. And then... Void. Apply. Damage. Int. Then we're gonna, uh, then we're gonna do a... Public. Uh, now I'm not going to uh I'm not going to make uh yeah public uh game object uh get object so that should be it so I'm gonna do if per have oops per have class equals to zero just gonna do die and then uh cur health minus equals damage and then uh destroy game object and then uh instantiate dead object transform that position transform that rotation oh yeah there we go so now we got this is the basic health script or you know what let's just do public uh, int max health and then make this private and then like uh, per health equals max health so we can make it regen but not now first we're gonna do it to the landmine oh no 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 I forgot to do main object public game object main object now the reason why I'm going to do this again is so that if this script is applied to an object that is not the main object like for example this one the script should be applied here on this object not this one because this doesn't have any collider but even though this object uh, 
is destroyed, the main object should be, uh, you know what I mean. So let's try it out. So now if we step on it, we should, be so if we step on it, we should die. But if you shoot it, Why the hell? Oh, wait. Make sure that uh, your player's effects sh shouldn't hit the ignore trigger. Hold on. Ignore it, because there we go. Make sure that doesn't get hit so that you can shoot it. Oh, there we go. I forgot to do that one. And... I forgot. Oops, it should be auto -right. There we go. So now when you shoot it... Yay! But the, the, the health is still a bit too much. Hold on. Check it out. There we go, so now we got the landmine done, now we're gonna do the turrets. Now for the turrets, I've set the uh, health to be here, so that this is the only script, the only object that's going to get destroyed. So meaning, meaning that you can't shoot any other part except for this one. The reason why I do this is because you can set different health to different game objects. Like for example, on the head, you can make it... Uh, you can make it like have lower health than the body so you can like destroy easier if you know what i mean mm -hmm. oops uh, oh oh my god oh my god there we go sheesh okay so now we can step on the landmine and also we can shoot the landmine or you can shoot the, the uh, turret and you can also uh, shoot the turret I forgot that this weapon has very low damage. Right? There we go! Yay! It finally worked! And ooh, parkour! Oh, and yeah. I wanna. For the moving script, where is the quick map? Uh, I'll set this later, we don't have enough time. Yeah, I guess that's it for today. Uh, thanks so much for watching again. Uh, stay tuned.